Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome, my name is Dutchman Games and today we're going to look into post-processing. Video post-processing is the process of changing the perceived quality on, of the game and adding uh, additional effects to the screen so that you have, for example, more exposure or more bloom or whatever. And in this episode, we're quickly going over post-processing. Um, in another episode, I want to have a deep dive on it but for now we're just going to do it quickly uh, so this is the post processing volume you want to look up processing and play sectors and just throw it in here now what I always like to do is just to make the scale 100 by 100 by 100 so you're always in the post processing and there's a bunch of things you can change here and all of these things will have an impact on your uh, visual uh, screen essentially see it kind of like a filter just like uh, you know on Instagram or whatever so for example you can change the bloom by a lot and this would make you know this makes the game look unbearable but you could do this and uh, usually the bloom um, I would have situated at 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 now for Every application, the uh, the post processing is going to be different, uh, but in this case, it's a cartoony, fun, cutesy style game. So we want it to look the part. So we want to up the um, we want to up the bloom, we want to up the exposure, and we want to make sure that the um, that the saturation is high so that it looks more colorful. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to exposure, and this is something I would always recommend you do because let me show you how it usually works with uh, exposure once you go into a dark location uh, somewhere like here, and you look up in the outside. Now it doesn't really work because I don't really have a dark location like that. But once you have a dark location, uh, the you know it will all of a sudden get very bright, and then it will adjust to the new lightning settings. Uh, with um, if you change this to, for example, minimum brightness to 0 0.2, maximum brightness to 0 0.2, it will always be this brightness, right? You can change this, for example, if I make it two, it will it will change back to the the fur uh, brightness. But let's say I make it one on one, it will be more clear this way. Let's say I make it two and two it will get more darker, right? So 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 is the sweet spot for this um, for this level design, I feel like. And, you know, we can even make it a little brighter, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And now it'll look even brighter. Now we can go to, for example, the... Um, well, we've already done the bloom, right? We can maybe up that a little bit more. And then we can go to the... Uh, saturation now the saturation is basically how bright all these individual uh, prime colors are right so we can set the this color all the way here and you can see how the the colors are changing right if you put everything to max it will look extremely uh, washed it, it I mean this looks heavy right so we don't want to do that we want to put it to 1.4 which would make it look a little bit better this actually is way too much, so let's make it 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, and keep this on 1. Make 1.1, and there we go. So now we've done a couple of changes to the post-processing. And as you can see, if I make this uh, scaled 1 by 1 by 1, uh, we are going out of the post-processing, and you won't see the changes. And once we go in here, it, it will actually change back to the, the change we made. So this way you can actually add different filters in your game depending on where you are. So if we copy this and we have two ones and, and this post-processing has an extremely high bloom, we can go in here and get blinded by the bloom. Sorry for the flashing light there. But yeah, so this is a quick overview on how post-processing work. Hopefully um, I have helped you with this. Um, a more in-depth tutorial on post-processing will definitely follow because there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. And uh, yeah, I will definitely work through that as well. So hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys in the next one. Cheers.